Hello everyone, this is the Good Captain. Welcome to another video in my LP of Campaign Series West Front. This is the Link Campaign game titled Operation Sea Lion, mission number 14. The final mission. Uh, the scenario is titled The Fall of London. So it has finally come to pass. Here we are on the final attack into downtown London. Here we have Buckingham Palace, here's the Houses of Parliament, the two primary objectives, palaces over here, I should say three, these three primary objectives. It's 500 points across those three, but we'll get to that in a moment. This is the River Thames, obviously, Waterloo Station is here, Hyde Park, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Really excited to do this, and uh, now I'm sure that I've never played this LCG before. I've definitely played a Force 10 Storm, which is the companion piece to this Link campaign game from the British side, fighting off the German invaders. I remember uh, playing that uh, basically as soon as I bought the game, because despite the fact that I've done two LCGs on the side of the Axis, I'm... I'm definitely team allies. I prefer to fight for the allies as the allies with allied equipment, but um, more than that, I just like to play the game. But anyway, um, I've actually decided to do a small video at the conclusion of this scenario where I sort of re uh, review this Link campaign game, as well as the previous one, The Fall of the Philippines, uh, as well as the book Invasion by Kenneth Maxey. So I'll just kind of uh, tie everything up that I've done to date in a bow that with that video. It'll be short, and I'll try to have pictures. <laughs> okay, so. Um, and, you know, I'll do that from here on out for whatever scenario or Link campaign game I play. Um, and I've also decided to really just play scenarios and campaigns on demand uh, based off of your comments. So if you want to see something, say something. Uh, next up is the seizure of Kwajalein Atoll or Kwajalein Atoll from Rising Sun. So when the scenario is complete, we'll be moving there next. But anyway, we still have to win this thing. So let's do the scenario analysis after we read the historical. So D plus 10, London. The, the English, it's supposed to be the, the English capital is now within our grasp. Once London has been captured, British surrender is the only option. Intelligence reports, heavy defenses, and enemy forces Okay, yeah, expect the British to fight to the last. Your parliament, your, excuse me, your orders are to capture the parliament buildings in Buckingham Palace across the River Thames. Elements of the 17th Infantry Division and 18th Panzer Regiment are on the first wave of attack with your forces. Find the weak points and exploit them. For the Reich. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's let's keep going now. Okay, uh, elevation takeaway there is none really. It's all flat except for one elevation change down here in the bottom right corner of the map, but uh, it has no effect at all on the battle that I can see at least. Significant terrain takeaway. Well, set much. The same as the last scenario, we're looking at suburbs, city, and industrial hexes mixed in with rubble and uh, punctuated with these park areas. <clears throat> but really, visibility is going to basically be one hex in any direction, so we're going to have to plot our way forward. Which is interesting because this is 24 turns, two more turns than the previous scenario, um, and if we move at a one hex pace, we'll have plenty of time to reach the northern edge of the map with our lead units. There's about 20 to 22 hexes, uh, depending on where we start. 
So if we can move at a one hex pace, we'll gather up all the objectives. Which leads me to the objectives there. There are 11. Ten. One, two, three. Maybe I was wrong. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it was eleven. Yeah, and they total eight hundred and fifty points, and victory is to twelve hundred. So we need three hundred and fifty in casualty points over what they inflict on us, plus all of the objectives if we're to get the major. Most of the objectives are located right up the center column of the map here, the center third of the map. However, 175 points, well, 125 points is in the far right corner, and 50 points is in the far left corner. <coughs> okay, another significant terrain takeaway, kind of, is these bridges. Um, what's going on here? Oh. Yeah, so damaged bridges. And uh, anyway, there's bridges everywhere here, but I, if I recall correctly, I don't think the damaged ones can support armor units. I'll have to look that up very quickly. In fact, I'll make a note here. I'll take a pause at the end of the scenario analysis and find out. Okay. <clears throat> uh, support now. Let's go into the support side of things. Uh, let's start with artillery. There are six 150 millimeter batteries off the map. We're happy to have those. We have 305 millimeters on the map. We have uh, various infantry guns. And then six mountain guns, all of which are on map as well. Mountain guns are all located on the right. And the infantry guns are all located on the left. And the mortars are dispersed between all my forces. There is no smoke. Notice there's a zero. Much to my chagrin, but we did all right with it last scenario, so we'll survive in this one as well. Air units, we have five air raids available. Of uh, various types, so no guarantee of what we're going to get. I don't know how effective they're going to be in the dense city, but happy to have them. Okay, so what's the strategy? How are we going to attack? What's the plan? There really is no plan except for a general advance across a broad front. Everyone's to move forward one hex at a time, despite my desire to run headlong into the enemy on this turn and just get after them. I, I know that the best thing to do, if you want to do it, a brazen charge like that. Better to do it in the last three to four turns of the scenario rather than the beginning because we just don't know the enemy at this point. At least not his dispositions, you know, his placements. So we need to learn a little bit about the enemy first. So the final thing I s I'll say, what do we have in, in the way of reinforcements and support on map? We have all of these units from the, on the left flank all the way to the center are units on loan to us, while the right flank is composed of our core units interspersed with uh, some platoons on loan to us, engineer, motorcycle. And then reinforcements-wise, we have um, three new fresh companies coming in, one motorcycle, one engineer, and one motorized. On turn three, on the bottom center, uh, three of these bottom center hexes. I forget which ones. Anyway, uh, let's just be complete. I'm, I'm real anxious to get going. 12, 15, and 16. So here's 12, and then 15 and 16 are in these two city hexes. So right in the middle of the map. Okay. I expect there to be a ton of mines, a ton of, of roadblock wire hexes, as there's been in pretty much every scenario past. So, again, that's influencing my decision to basically chain myself to a one hex per turn advance. And so, uh, I'm going to start with my non-core units first. 
not for any other reason other than to just try to learn about the enemy kind of over here and probably apply what we learn over there maybe I don't, I don't know there's not really any vital reason to do this other than I just prefer to if I can prefer not to use my units first they're still the most powerful on the map even though they're just as expendable as everyone else I just want to pre preserve their their power if nothing else all right and with that said yeah 10 minute intro that's plenty let's get into the fighting so, uh, the first thing we're going to do is move, yeah, we'll move this 3SP unit, um, let's move him, let's move him, sort of maintain company integrity, we'll move you into this middle hex here, and we're immediately fired upon, okay. And we've taken a hit already. Ah, it's frustrating. Ah, okay, uh, it's all right. It can happen. Let's try this hex. Okay. Um, and we don't want to go. I'm not going to move further at this point. Let's bring him back. His mate. Uh, let's move one more just to be sure no one's there. Let's put the machine gun in and suppress. We got it back, so we should be at zero. And we are. Okay, so he's disrupted. So. Okay, let's move this guy here. Hmm. Let me see if there's a possibility first of doing this. No, because it's a rubble hex. Okay, I was thinking maybe we can encircle, but yeah, he's a rubble hex, so it's not going to work. Okay, yeah, just shoot. Get this guy next turn. Okay, let's move another 3SP unit probing forward. Another. God. Boy, they're, they're certainly not lacking for firepower or firepower effectiveness. Second SP loss. But this is city fighting. Okay, let's you here. Now this one, yeah, we can, because it's not a rubble hex. There is a possibility of destroying this unit this turn, if we can disrupt him. So let's move forward one space. Uh, First move you here. Okay. And here. Uh. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to break my rule, I think. Because even if we take a loss... Actually, first, let's not... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need we need to disrupt this guy. Let's make sure that happens. Okay. Uh, let's just move the whole group forward. Okay, and that's why that's why we always check and make sure first. Huh. Four. Four. All right, commit them. Okay, no reason to attempt to... Oh, wait, we could try a stug. 
Yeah. Let's try this stuff. Oh, and there it is. Now you're definitely going in. Ah! Hitting on all eight cylinders, the Brits this time. Okay, but there's a minefield there, we know that, so I think that counts as being encircled. Let's try anyway. Get in there. God. So we're at negative six, now we're at positive three, so that's three SP. That was a three SP unit. Wait, we spent a lot of energy to make that happen, though, didn't we? Okay, probing forward a little bit. Get the engineers in place. Uh, machine guns. Just drive forward. SP units first. Yep, more enemy. Finally, we don't take a freaking SP loss. It's a miracle. <laughs> okay, uh. One, two, three. Looks like every th third or fourth. Huh, kind of random. There's little pickets, it looks like. There's not. They're not. Enemy's not in strength. So far, at least. Uh, let's probe this hex. Okay, we have another opportunity to possibly c cause... Yeah, we could do it. Let's see what happens. Ah. Yeah. Well, honestly... We could still do it with these guys. Yes, we did. Let us determine the feasibility of this attack. Suburb Hex. Hmm, how bad do we want to kill these guys? Pretty bad. I want some vengeance for the casualties we've suffered so far. So if we did it, it would be you. But we only have two sides. We need to occupy both of these hexes. And here's three strength. Okay, let's probe this hex. All right, little risk here. Could be mines. Okay, that one cleared. I don't want to move the machine guns forward, so I'm pretty sure I can double time this guy. But just to be sure, his suburb is 33, and I have 32 action points, so yeah, double, double time is in order. Okay, good luck for him. Okay, and we, yeah, we destroy this guy. As long as there's no British back here to allow him a route path out. Let's see. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Another th I think that was another 3 SP. Uh, enemy unit. Okay, so... So we moved a little further than we expected. Okay, we know this hex is clear. Let's. I kind of want to push this guy back to his unit. Though. So, is there anyone else that can occupy it? Yeah. And we could, at this point, double time. I think we will. We'll use these guys as 
the first units to move next turn since they'll be fatigued. Very nice. Really happy with that progress in the center. Okay. Pretty easy move here. Move them closer to their rest of their unit. And yeah, we have a lot of support units back here. Move them last. Move you up. And I'm really feeling the pressure to impress to impress everyone with this battle here. I better not screw this up. I really want that major victory. I want that 1200 so bad. I do not want to settle for a minor in this in this battle. Uh, let's see where do we have over here? Wow, there's no engineers over here. Okay. There's one over here. So um Yeah, let's go over here. It's an armor unit. Machine guns. Yeah, let's push all the way up. Three, six, nine. Yeah, perfect. Oh, we didn't move these guys. Well, let's probe forward. Yeah. Let's probe out in this direction. we don't get flanked by anything. Okay. Now yeah, let's go ahead and clean this flank up. So part of the cleanup is going to be removing these useless 37 millimeter AT guns. Let's pull them back. Move back. Okay, armor, supporting armor. Infantry guns. Time. More armor. D's, these are the three F's, let's keep them together. Okay, that looks okay. The mortars can stay put, headquarters can all stay put. Get over here, let's pull the 37 millimeters back wherever they are. And let's Inf guns forward. And these are 150 millimeter inf guns for the really pesky positions, right? Let's get those moving in. Cars. So I think that takes care of the left. Oh, stug tanks. Let's just move them up. Okay, now, now we're done with the left, so let's take a look. Huh, even after all that, we just barely got up on par with it. So, on the right flank is about a hex forward, uh, further forward than the left, I think. Looks like it. Yeah. Alright, let's. First, let's uh, move this motorcycle platoon. Unload. Space. Okay. 
Yep, these are all just pristine condition. So, yeah, let's just move forward one space across the line. Should probably move the rear units first. So the front units have all their action points in case we run into content and hit something, you know. Really? Nobody? Wow. Okay. It's too quiet, <laughs> you know? Uh, we need to get this... I want to anchor the right flank better than that, especially with these exposed artillery. Let's... Time you. Perfect. Oh, wow. I miss company up on that flank. Okay, so we got a nice solid wall, and as much as I'd really like to move another hex, I'm not going to do it, mostly because we don't know what's in front of us, but also because, well, just the prevalence of mines and wire in, the, in all the previous scenarios, but also you don't want to move too far in front of units that actually can, you know, in a city... You run into something, if you go too far ahead, nothing can help you. So, if we go too far ahead, the units behind us can't, you know, what what can they do? Come up and be targets with everyone else? Yeah, so, let's just double everyone up. This is a motorcycle platoon. Yeah, we're not going to do it. I was going to say, we can move one more space, but there's just no units back here to help them out. If they get shot at, what can we do but just watch? So, nope. We have a week left. That's well, not weak, but we have to be mindful of this. It's kind of a gap between the battalions there, isn't there? Okay. You know what? I'm going to double stack everything. No artillery in the first turn. So yeah, let's... Let's just overstack everyone. Since we're not being shot at, we'll take advantage. And that's one way we can. So we got engineers. Let's just kind of spread the engineers out. Here. Here. You would moved. Let's move up here. One, two. Yeah. Don't we have engineers on the right flank? Let's get over there. <laughs> okay. uh, we've got more units to move. Yeah, the left looks a little weak. Let's go patch that up.
I should have double timed him. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that I gotta be a little mindful. Nah, not really. Okay, this is a separate battalion. Um, these will be sort of the reserve. We'll just move them forward slowly. Okay, um, let's move the AT guns back. Move the little things. Oh, that's fixed. Oh, that's a 20 millimeter. I just want to move the. There's not going to be any RAF, is there? <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, let's uh, sh let's choke up the armor. Let's do a cursory cycle through. Oh, we didn't move this guy. Let's put him here. see this guy oh at some point oh that's right he's the dude that shot the um the guy there's a minefield here yeah okay all right i remember now <laughs> okay so this is the only target that would be worth our interest so do we want him disrupted whoops yeah we've got so much artillery let's use the 105s they're so close all three of them. Yeah, they're so close. This might have the desired effect, and then we'll still keep our one, all of our 150s for next turn. <clears throat> Excuse me, next turn. Give the enemy's turn. Ooh. <laughs> Look, at Look at all those mines. It's an unbroken chain. One, two, three, four, five, six hexes long. With a roadblock at either end. Let's see our guys figured out, but there, there's nothing on the left, and it's already our turn. Wow. here though nothing could be mines here though mines 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 and they are all yep two strength and there's nothing here interesting at least not yet uh wow huh All right, let's select this machine gun and hit this guy. Yep. Perfect. Uh, let's play this by the numbers. Um, probe forward one space. Oh. Probe forward one space. Probe forward one space. You can move two spaces. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. Okay, probe forward one space. And we run into some engineers and a rifle platoon. Wow, that was nice. Uh, let's attempt to destroy this guy. Yeah. Good. Um. Hmm. I suddenly realized there might be heavy defenses off the on the other side of the river. We have to do a bridge crossing. I don't know why I didn't wrap my head around that. Huh, until just this moment. That without smoke. God. Hmm. All right, we'll deal with it. We'll manage it. Do we want to move into the space? Do we think there's... If we're going to do it... Mm. Do we think this whole thing's open? Let's see, there's wire here. We got no reports of mines or wire over here. Solid line over here. Look, we could start to... What would be the purpose? I mean, just to stack adjacent heavy? Yeah, that's why. So we could stack heavy and keep the momentum up. Yeah. Ah, I didn't want to. Only because I just, it just seems, they seem so weak. Let's do it. Ah, roadblock. That's a roadblock. It's not mine's. There's a, a roadblock there. So roadblock, roadblock makes me suspicious of this next line now. Okay, so no, we're gonna call it. We're not gonna move forward further. Actually, oh, now I'm arguing with myself again. We could do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go all in. We're at eight. All in. There's the roadblock. Why did I do this? We won't be able to shoot the enemy right now, but we will guaranteed be able to call in a ton of artillery on him. With five units adjacent, they're not going to be able to beat all of them off. And we'll be able to remove this position almost definitely next turn. So yeah, this was something we needed to do. So let's just let's just go all in. Yes, borrow, borrow. We're doing it. We're doing it with everyone. No armor here. Not moving armor adjacent. Not with an engineers. No way. Oh, did I screw up? Oh, this is a this is a hell of a risk. We move here, no, because yeah, we shouldn't do this. Retreats would count as losses. We're gonna pull this guy back, and so we don't overstack the hex, and we can clear it. We're gonna put the engineers in, so this will clear next turn. Yes, there's some risk. They will probably target my engineers, but we're not overstacked, and if it works, we'll have a hole. And if it really works, we'll remove this fighting position and, and have a gaping hole that we can push a lot of forces through. Okay. All these are two strength minefields. Yeah, God. Boy. 
the unit density is such that it might be worth it just to send the engineers in and spend two turns to open this so that we can pour through. But, God, I hate doing that. Really hate doing that. Let's come back to that unfortunate portion of the line. Um, you will be our point man. And you will be the point man. Run into the enemy. They did no damage, and we have more units behind. Shoot. Effect. Gonna take a little risk. Hey, it's a fortified position. Good. Fortified city hex. Very nice. Oh, good. That was a great position to steal. Dude, let's exploit that. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. But we would it'd still be nice to have some engineers over in this area of the battlefield. So let's double time and get someone out there. Turn, we should be able to move into that and remove that obstacle. Okay. So yeah, let's... I think this is... Yeah, this is the most... We definitely are doing this. MGs. Cool. We've made it. We've breached South Lumbeth for sure. Okay. Uh, hmm. Come back over there. Let's stay with the left flank first. Let's resolve everything over here first. This may be the last turn, just two turns. Oh well. Yeah, this will definitely likely be the last turn. These turns are long like a Rubik's Cube. We've got to solve this puzzle. Yeah, we just got to open this up. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is such... It would take just as long to move around this thing. Just all these units in the middle of this minefield here. It would take two turns just to get around, so, but we're just gonna, I hate to do this, but, yeah, move in. Oh my god, really? Ugh. I, for some reason, didn't expect that. Yeah, let's keep it going. Okay, good, let's shoot back. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Excellent! Wow! We shredded them! Okay. Okay, uh, so let's look at this situation again, since this is where... Let's just tighten these guys up. Yeah, let's... One thing we can do is sort of prepare... To move in. So let's stack everybody heavy here. Stack everyone heavy over here. Just prepare to move into that space. Yep.
Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Um, two, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we'll move here and just all to exploit this potential hole in the line. This will be a big hole if we can make it work. We'll remove that roadblock, remove these enemies here, and then hopefully there's not a whole lot of more mines and wire behind this initial line. Uh, anyway, it'll that's definitely what we should do now to allow us the option, so we'll see what happens. Okay. You guys should fall in behind this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's just move you here, probing forward, probe forward, probe forward with engineers, probe forward with engineers. Ah. God dang it. God. Mm. Ready for a penny and for a pound? Yeah, let's push the other engineers up there to help. Let's push these engineers to help. Okay, disrupted for what it's worth. Dang. Hate losing engineers. Let's move up. Back to all these hexes here. stack. We'll see how it goes there. Uh, we've got a four hex spread of mines. Not good. Let's probe. Nothing. Probe. Nothing. Oh. Probe. Poking and prodding our way forward. I'm, I'm inclined to take a little risk and push this armored car here. Cool. That allows us more flexibility. Let's move you here. Yeah, let's overstack. stay put. Not sure. Keep the engineers close though. There's two mines here. This is a real short walk. Let's just assume that there are. I think we'll delay a turn. Let's move this, these guys out onto this flank. Here. 
37 millimeters to the rear. up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, let's do a cursory cycle through. Headquarters. I still don't want to remove these guys, you know. <clears throat> yeah, we happy. All right. Time check. Fifty one. You know what? It's the first video into this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another turn. I'm just too excited. I don't know if that's sort of a famous last words type of thing, but ooh, I almost hit the button without calling artillery, and this is crucial. I want all six one fifties on that position. Okay, the 105s can hit this position. And the actually the mountain guns should be packed. Oh, when do these get released? I didn't even check that. Turn 10? Oh, yuck. Yuck. Okay, whatever. I'm not calling in the mountain guns. Worthless. Actually, the mountain guns, this, this might just be close enough, and there's so many of them that we can get a disruption. It would be great. What are these 81s? Alright, we'll throw in these 81s. <coughs> Let's just do a full barrage. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, give the enemy its turn. <laughs> We've cleared some things. Oh, it's turn three, right? The reinforcements have now arrived. One of our engineers is up. <coughs> yeah, we've cleared five. Okay. Yes! It's over for them. Oh! Oh! Wow! 
These are minefield factor one now, both of them. So we'll we'll stay camp there, open the hole, and push through. Okay. <clears throat> God, it's just a solid wall. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. We camp here. One more turn. We'll open this up. Just hoping there's not more layers of this stuff on this side of the Thames, at least. It is a pretty nasty solid wall. Okay, let's open up with our machine gun and our stug. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> nice hit. Nice hit. Wow. Uh, let's probe. Encircle. Destroy. This guy. Dang. Let's try again. No! Should have moved the right platoon first. Ugh. Let's just move him out. Can we get the engineers in or not? It appears not. Ugh, that's not good. All right, so Eastern will clear this roadblock. This is the e path of easiest resistance. I don't want to clear a roadblock on a rubble hex. Rubble is already an obstacle for the most part, so we'll open up this uh, city hex, and then that will give us a route through. Okay, now. Uh, you. We know the enemy, I think, retreated into this rubble. Yes. So let's shoot them. Make it so they can't reoccupy this space, guaranteeing that we open this up next turn. And setting it, at, setting it up so that we can move on and remove these next layers, next layer of obstacles with both these engineer units. little pause. Uh, yo, I'm back, and yeah, I got a small family emergency, so we're going to have to cut this video here in the mid-turn. Sorry about that, and we'll pick it up next time. So thanks for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.